So we saw something earlier in the week, a uh, really cool video that uh, Mac Magic Ma Mad Madness Mania Mania Mac Mania posted. I was close, but no cigar. Um, about a looping go kart track, like what? Yeah, right, you've worked with go karts, so you're gonna be better at talking about this than me. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've done I've since done some research. I like looked on their website and stuff to find out more about it. Geek, but. Um, I was just wondering how it would work in like logistically with like having a go kart track because, like you had said, I used to work at a go kart track and when you have like go kart friends, I'm trying to think how many go karts there were on the track, but if you have like, there's, I think there's more than that. Oh, if you have like fifteen, like hyped up like middle aged guys or young guys, like going on go karts all together, all aggressive and wanting to like sounds like my nightmare. Yeah, and fancy. Right. No, I'm joking. It anywho, sounds like a nightmare. Anywho, um, yeah, hyped up on adrenaline, like going around the track and just being trying to show off to each other. It's not great, um, and there's a lot of accidents and things like that. Every so, every time they go on, basically. Imagine sticking them through a vertical loop. Yeah, exactly. So the logistics of the loop, I was wondering how it would work because in the video, it's like a pr promo video, so it's a bit like unrealistic. I think. Did you read the article about it from Theme Park University? No. Well, they actually mentioned in it that it was designed to only allow one, yeah, so one uh, car in. At I once. did some research afterwards, and apparently some barriers that stop anyone else from going in right, right. afterwards uh, until it's clear. But yeah, in the video, like a girl like gets in it and she like goes up halfway up and then rolls back down and then goes up again and goes all the way around. But obviously, in real life, I imagine I don't know. I don't know if you're able to do that or not. I was thinking in my head that it would like be electronically controlled, so like when you went in near the loop, it would drive you through it, so you couldn't. On the article I read, it the the selling point was that it was you are controlling the speed you go around the loop. So it's potentially it could stall. Maybe no. Maybe the car always moves a little bit. Yeah. Well, if stall. you think about it as well, if it's got up stop wheels or whatever it's called. So from what I can gather, it looks like like a wedge. Yeah. And obviously the wheel goes into the wedge like this and then yeah exactly yeah so the cart's got like bits that stick out with wheels yeah yeah and then when you go to the loop it has it'll have like above and below so yeah but yeah it looks but cool imagine I... though if you sorry to interrupt imagine if you're going round but you haven't quite got the force and then suddenly the car i just hope there's no yeah a bit of a gap gap so you get that drop like upside down shunt that's cool that'd be awful that's cool that'd make me but yeah that would feel weird one thing I was thinking, like the loop looks really big, like not like the, they didn't like just build something they, like as as small as they could for it to fit around. They built like a really big loop that looks impressive. I wonder if you could get like interlocking loops, go kart track it. Oh my, so, oh my god! Or you had like a line of like four or five, so everybody and a track going through the middle or something. Oh, now you're making it. Now it sounds like something out of Roller Coaster Tycoon or GTA or something like that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that would be cool, but I don't know. It's only going to be certain places that can afford something like this. Yeah, this and the, the space, and then the insurance, and how do you do it? Like, is it going to be like, is it racing Formula One where you have to call at the pit stop once? You have to pit, you have to visit the pit stop like once or twice. I don't know. I've like, never, I've never done. Car was it in America where they did it? Or was it in? I don't know. I didn't really say it's, it's it? Mac. So if it's Mac, Mac, then it's probably going to be Germany. Yeah, apparently it's like a, it's owned by Mac. It's a company that's not Mac, but they're owned by Mac. Apparently they also built the. This is just what I've been told. They built the food loop places. Well, that is Mac then. Like the Europa I Park, think. yeah. Europa Park, and is it the same old company that built the Alton Towers Alton one? Towers, I would have thought. There's some so. others, isn't there? I think. Um, yeah, so it looks really cool. I just don't know how it'll work. Will Will it just be a loop in the middle of the race? Will you go over the loop at the start so at it's over and done with? Oh, you know. Because obviously, if you've got a, if you've got to be in a single file, the barriers. That doesn't work well if you're having a race. Because then everyone just has to stop. Maybe you would do a... Tr I don't even know. Although it could work. In the middle of a race, you just have to stop and wait. But... Or timing. So say, for example, you start, and instead of it being a race to the finish line, it's like a fastest lap, and the loop's included. So you would line up, I don't know, 10 cars. First car goes through the loop, clears it, next one opens up, but it, it registers your time rather than... The goal is to get the quickest time around the course rather than be in the front position. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that could work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that could work. Yeah. I want to go on it. 
Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, because I've only I've only done karting once, and that was in Dubai in like an indoor circuit. But it was really cool because it was like drifting carts. The floor was like shiny and exciting. So like you could do well. You you did what's the, the term when you go around a corner? You're sliding. Drifting. drifting, drifting. So you could drift around the corners. So you drift around the corners. <laughs> it was really cool. Amar was the. He went from like ninth place to first place. He was amazing. Now, cars, cars are really good. Traditionally, they're petrol, but these days they're becoming more electric ones or gas ones that you get sometimes. Um, but yeah, having like electric carts like opens you up to do stuff like this, which is pretty good. Because in a petrol cart, you wouldn't be able to do that because the petrol tanks usually have like a, an overflow tu- like a, an air tube so that oh, air can go in uh, to the thing so if it went upside down petrol would dripping out like I've worked when I went to that go-kart track I got covered in petrol before just driving a car if it had like a leaky tank uh, it's not good be covered in petrol <laughs> there we go so it's something a little bit different yeah I want to I want to go on it as soon as I can I want to go I want to go on it it looks awesome we'll have to find out what it is and if it's commissioned and